Hello everyone, I'm Garrick from TechX and this is going to be a simple guide on how to set up your WIM Mini. So before I go over that, let's talk about the inputs and outputs and how to use this device. So there's your aux in, your aux out, your power and optical out. So if you want to put in your aux in here, you can put our aux here into your amplifier or anything. And this is for your DAX, so the optical out. Or you can put this into any of your speaker that accepts optical out. On top here, we have the volume up, volume down, volume up, play and pause. Okay. So from here onwards, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just plug in the power and you'll start to see it blink. Okay, so like this, it says power. Okay, from here onwards, you'll need to go into your Wim Home. Okay, so you can download it on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. So let's go over to the Wim Home app. Alright, so when you open up your Wim Home app, your device will most likely be there. But if it's not there, you can press Add Device. LED is blinking. Continue Next. And you'll search for it. But most likely, or most of the time, if you open it up, you already straight away go there. So something like this. Yep. And from here, all you have to do is just press setup. And from here, let the WIM connect to your Wi-Fi. So there is an option there to click connect to WIM connect your WIM to your Wi-Fi all you have to do is just press your password and your network and from there once it's connected you can just press continue and from here onwards you can rename it to maybe living room or office or whatever you would like or you can just keep it as WIM mini and from here this will be your device name so whenever you go to into Spotify connect you will have all of you can search for that name that you have named it okay from here no thanks no thanks okay you can calibrate your whim start so this one just give it a few moments yeah done okay from here it's very simple if you go under to browse you can select all your streaming services Okay, if you go over to Spotify and open Spotify. Go under devices, you will see Wim Mini. So from here, once you start playing, sound will come out. So depending if you use optical or aux out. So make sure you have to select your input back here. If you go under browse, scroll all the way down. There is an option for Wi-Fi, line in, and Bluetooth. It will not play aux out and optical out simultaneously. You have to pick one. So usually, if you want to use your Wi-Fi, you can just connect to the Wi-Fi here. And you're pretty much done. You can go into here and you can select your audio output, aux or optical. You can sync your audio. There's an audio setting here. You can change your bit rate and your sample rate to whatever you like, depending on what streaming services you'll use. Okay, you can also choose to put fixed output so the volume knob doesn't work, but I usually just leave this off. Okay, so when I turn up and down my volume rocker, the sound will come out. You can even apply EQ also, depending on your taste. You can check your Wi-Fi status, you can put your presets, speaker in for rename. Okay, the most important is your audio output. You want to make sure you are connected to the right one. So either your optical, which is SPDIF, or your optical, your aux out. Okay, so you can stream and have that depending on what you like. And other than that, it's pretty much straightforward. You can control your volume up and down here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for your Wim Mini and you can start playing music. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you very much and goodbye.